Okay, for our first equations, we want to find the perimeter and the area of a square. It is important to note that a square is a regular quadrilateral. We'll talk more about these special quadrilaterals later in the course, but for right now, note it's a regular quadrilateral, meaning it has four congruent sides and four congruent angles that are all 90 degrees. If we have four congruent sides, then each side is the same. So here we're going to let S equals represent side length. And so the perimeter of a square is 4 times S, because we have S plus S plus S plus S, or 4 S's. Its area is going to be S times S, because we'll be able to fit S number of boxes across one row, and we'll have S number of rows of boxes, which is S squared. So perimeter is 4S, which is S plus S plus S plus S, and area is S squared, or S times S. Next we have rectangle. A rectangle is a equilateral sorry, not equilateral, equiangular quadrilateral. So what we get when we have a rectangle is four right angles, which ends up giving us two pairs of congruent sides, which we'll label L and W. We'll let L be length and W be width. Then the perimeter of a rectangle is, we'll get two L's and two W's, so the perimeter is L plus L plus W plus W, which we can simplify to be two L plus two W. Its area is L times W. Okay, let's go on to triangle. A triangle is just a three-sided polygon. It's nothing special. When we have a triangle, however, we pick one side to be the base, and one side then to be the height. And the height is always forming this right angle with the base. Sometimes the height will look a little off, like we have here, where here's the base, this is the height. The perimeter of your triangle, just add your sides together. The perimeter is going to be side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3. So we get side 1, side 2, side 3. The area or if you want to, you can label these sides A, B, and C. And we can rewrite the perimeter as A plus B plus C. Completely up to you. The area is one-half base times height. And I'll add a little video at the end to explain why this is. It's also something that we'll talk about in class. You do not have to watch the video at the end if you don't want to. It's just some extra information. Lastly, we have a circle. A circle is formed by taking a point in the middle and having this line. We're keeping this line the same length and just kind of swing it, swing it around that point in the middle. Sorry, my hand drawing is not great, but this gives us a center and then our circle. The perimeter, or in this case, circumference, Okay, in our circle we have R, which is the radius. The circumference of a circle is 2 times pi times R. And the area of a circle is pi R squared. Let's practice using your formulas.